What is it like to be a trans person? Specifically, what is it like to be a trans woman? I mean, like, what is the experience? Like, there aren't a whole bunch of people in the population who have this experience. So let's go into some of these stereotypes that exist around what it's like to be a trans woman and what trans women are. And let's talk about those. And let's see if we can nail it down and figure out exactly what it's like to be a trans woman. Well, let's start with the first one, which is, okay, being a trans woman, you want to be fully feminine, right? And you want to enjoy that femininity. Is that a reality for everybody? No. I mean, there are so many times where I'm not wearing any makeup. Again, makeup is a construct, a societal construct that we have. So does that really even, that defines our modern day version of femininity. But yes, I wear makeup, which in our modern day femininity is a concept, but there's so many times that I identify as kind of more across the spectrum and just like, like showing up by myself, right? Like today is a light makeup day. It's a Sunday. So it's just like, okay, well, I don't necessarily have to present fully femme. Like there's no reason that I should present fully femme. And that's the beautiful kind of concept of non-binary. So, and for me, uh, it's not non-binary. It's pulling these constructs that we have that we've created and saying, okay, well, I grab from all of these because these are all human experiences. And the only right reason we have any of these like preconceived concepts is because we put them in boxes and project them on people. So no, being fully feminine is not. The second is, is okay, like I'm a trans woman and I have non-binary aspects that touch all these concepts which we just dove into well the second one is just like okay well i want to be with guys like i i want to be with guys like i'm a woman i want to be with guys like oh, no nope, wrong so the reality is is that i like women and uh and that that's you know cis women trans women whatever like doesn't matter i like women so like there is no no definition around that attraction. So you can be a trans woman and you can also like men or you can like women. It doesn't really matter. So third one is this feeling of body dysmorphia and not being happy with your body um, in, in the body that we that we have. And, and while that's true, and I'll speak from my experience, there are points early in my journey where I wasn't, right? And then I got to a point where I got to a nice baseline and then I just accepted a lot of these other aspects about me that are me. My voice, right? My voice is nice and masculine, yes. My shoulders, my body, I'm like leaning into all these sports and I'm loving it and I'm having so much fun and it, you know, like look at that, I've got nice flexors now. <laughs> so. <coughs> But I also am getting a little bit of booty, but I still have the triangle body, right? Like it's a reality and you're accepting it and I'm body positive, right? And I don't have like all of the surgeries and stuff and that's fine. That's, it's my definition of what it is like to be a woman and my definition of me being a trans woman. The next one is like trans women and being trans women you are a maybe hypersexual or you're sexual more sexual than most and that is not true at all since i transitioned it's been the exact opposite i spent the first two years being celibate and throughout this whole thing i just want to time out like this is from my experience there are hundreds of other different experiences out there thousands of other experiences millions of other experiences <laughs> but yeah i uh, it was celibate for the first two years and i've had maybe two partners two or three partners since then so it's not like i'm out there like plucking away right like it's not the case uh the fifth one is that there are some traumas that people are experiencing more in this community and there are psychological challenges and while everybody has had some level of underlying trauma in their life uh, growing up school whatever like everybody has had some level of that and 
like everybody in every group of people, um, that some people decide that they want to process through it. Some people decide that they want to kind of push it to the side and, and continue life. And surely there's no right way for that. Um, but the reality is, is that there are so many stable, connected, confident, trans women, trans human, non-binary people that exist in our society. And, and yeah, and so, you know, that is the interesting thing is that it's not specifically all people who have unprocessed traumas and stuff like that. People have healed and moved on. Um, the sixth one that I wanna talk about is medical transition. And this links a little bit back to femininity, but like, I don't wanna go through all the surgeries. I don't have to go through all the surgeries. Like there's no expectation. There shouldn't be an expectation on me to go through all these surgeries. Like uh, I'm showing up as I want to. I'm doing what I think is my definition to the extent and that's it. And then I'm comfortable, I'm happy, I'm, I'm me, right? Like that's it. You get to a point where you're like, Okay, this is me. Uh, and then I think the last one I wanna leave us on, and this is a much shorter video when you do three takes of this. Uh, the last one I wanna leave us on is uh, being um, like challenged or like really struggling through life and like just always having these like little, um, you know, perpetual like challenges through life and it's just being really hard. Well, I, I can say from my side, on this stereotype of what it's like to be a, a trans woman, like for, for my experience, I, I'm thriving. And I look around at all the people here, not all of them, there are definitely people who are challenged. But again, it's it doesn't really matter what groups you're in. There's always people thriving and, and challenged. And around me, there are so many people who are also thriving. So. Um, that is a, another aspect or a stereotype about what it's like to be a trans woman that is debunked. So we get to the end of this and we just went through these like seven different concepts of like being trans woman and what it's like to be a trans woman. And the reality is, is that most of these like definitions, these loose, maybe these loose group uh, stereotype archetypes are like, completely wrong right like they're completely wrong for me uh and maybe maybe there were some things that you held in there and maybe as either somebody who's external or somebody who's going through their own journey they have a, a definition of what they think that it should be and maybe there were some of those in that first category that first box that we were talking about that you're like, yeah, that's that's me. Well, the, the reality is that doesn't have to be you. If it's not you authentically, then there's literally no reason that it should be you. So you have to define your own experience, your own definition. Other people, other societies will try to project on you and put you into these boxes and just push back, right? Push back and stand confidently in where you are as a human and show up as a human. So I think that's the last like key ultimate takeaway is that like all other groups of humans and people with different experiences, there are uh, experiences that are very different across those groups and uh, people want different things across those groups. So really it's the responsibility of the individual to define what is their experience um, and does it fit within those categories? Maybe, for example, for me, maybe there is some binary, non-binary aspects that I'm pulling in here, but I still identify as a trans woman. So either way, it does, you know, <laughs> that's, <coughs> excuse me, that's my definition of it. And that's what I'm comfortable with. So lean into yourself. That's kind of always the message in this channel is, you know, be yourself when you're being transgender. There is no, don't let, uh, Instagram tell you or don't let uh, the movies tell you what it should be you should have perfect makeup you should do all of the transition you should date guys like no like you do whatever makes you happy and gives you fulfillment and joy so that's where we'll leave it